fuck's sake. It's another Gilson B. Pontus game, everyone. Gilson B. Pontus. Prolific developer. Releases one game a year on the PlayStation 4. And it's always one of the shittiest games of that year. Actually, it's always one of the shittiest games ever, without fail, consistently, period. Every game Gilson B. Pontus has ever made is one of the worst games of all time. Easy top 100. And that's a, that's a competitive market, let me tell you. So anyway, Gilson B. Pontus, purveyor of terrible video games, is back with this one, which I can't even tell you what it's called right now. It's something absolutely fucking ridiculous. Ah oh yes, it's Shadow the Ronin, the revenge to the samurai. What? What does that fucking mean? What does Shadow the Ronin, the Revenge to the Samurai even mean, Gilson B. Pontus, a Gilson B. Pontus game? Why does it have 50 ratings? Two and a half stars? How? Why? Where did those stars come from? 9.99. Everything about this PlayStation Store page is wrong and aberrant and disturbing. Gilson B. Pontus is to video games what Uli Lamel is to horror movies, and his games aren't all that difficult to figure out. You are a character. It could be any character. It's some sort of warrior. Always. You then run for a really long time. A really, really, really long time until you find a monster that kills you in one hit. And that's the game. That's always the game. That's a Gilson B. Pontus game by Gilson B. Pontus. And it's shit. It's always shit. However, however, Gilson may very well be improving as a developer. That doesn't mean anything in this game is good or competent, but it does mean there are NPCs, some enemies that you can kill in one hit for a little taste of power, and Swimming. You can swim in this one. In previous games, water was there as just a piece of the scenery, albeit one you could interact with, and by interact with, I mean you could walk on water. This is how Spear of Destiny thinks water works. <laughs> Couldn't even. Couldn't even be fucked to let you just sink in the water like a person would sink in the water. Look how moldy that armor looks though. But in this one, the water is wet and you can do a swim in it. What I'm saying is this is the best game that Gilson B. Pontus has ever done in that it's the piece of software he's responsible for that most resembles a video game. But when I compare him to Uli Lamel, I'm not kidding around. It doesn't have to be Lamel, it could be, I don't know, Len Kavazinski or some, basically anyone, any one of these horror movie makers who have done those films on a handy cam that you can find buried deep in Amazon Video's back catalog where someone clearly made it on their own at their mother's house. And there's about 20 minutes of actual plot and content, but to bump the film up to an actual feature length runtime, it's full of more or less all of the B-roll. Many of you will know the type of film I'm talking about, the type of film that your mum gets you for Christmas because she thought buying a DVD from a clothes shop was a good idea. Freak is a bad film. But yeah, these films have no content, so they use the B-roll. They have scenes that are just 15 minute long establishing shots. Or a shot of someone preparing food or getting dressed or putting on makeup or whatever, and they show you the whole laborious process, where a better film just shows you a bit of it to give you an idea. And I'm saying that's the type of game a Gilson B. Pontus game is. It's playable B-roll, but without fail, Every year, there's a Gilson B. Pontus game on the PlayStation Store. Almost always around January. It's not January as I say this, for some reason I missed Shadow to the Ronin of the Revenge of the Samurai the first time it came out. But I'm playing it now, for some reason, 
Oh dear. As with all Gilson games, I cannot uh, adequately demonstrate in this video uh, exactly how much time is spent running around looking for a shred of content. Uh, don't worry, the, the game, the, the video hasn't fucked up. That's what happens in this game when you move to a new area. It just freezes and you think it's crashed, but here we are in a different area where nothing will happen. You'll just... You just pick a direction and hope for the best, because sometimes the uh, the compass at the top of the screen that tells you where content is, sometimes it's not there. As you can see, it's just not there. Uh, so we've just got to eventually run around and look for one of those dragons to kill us in one hit so we can respawn back at that weird little graveyard area where you've got to swim for a really long time. And like I said, I can't tell you, I can't show you how much time is spent swimming to an island so you can go to one, look at that deer, so you can go to one of these levels. Uh, it, the, most of the game now is swimming. It's like, it's like Gilson knew that people made fun of the, the previous game where you could walk on water. So now it's a game that's almost all swimming when it's not almost all running until you find a dragon. And for some reason you convince yourself, maybe, maybe I can kill the dragon. And then the dragon kills you in one hit. Or because there's no real, um, gameplay you could say that you've won the game because your only other option is to pick an island and start swimming again and if i tried to show you how long it took to get from here to here then that would be the entire video that would be the entire video now i did find this area though and this area excited me greatly because it's full of well i say full it's full, by Gilson standards, of enemies that you can kill, that don't kill you in one hit. I mean, they might kill you in one hit, but because you can kill them in one hit, they never got the chance. This is the closest the game gets to being a game, by the way. This is the closest it gets to gameplay. Enjoy it. There you go. And then you just do that again. You know, you might be wondering, you showed us a deer earlier, it was cute, and you love animals. But, can you kill the deer? If you hit it, yes. And now the deer is dead. And quite literally gone. But don't worry. There is a bad enemy for killing it with a sword. Go on, get in there, boof. That's that, with a death scream and everything. NPC over there, you can't interact with them in any meaningful way. So, you know, go the way of the dodo, or the deer in this case. Here comes another one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, video games. Look at this intro cinematic by Gilson B. Pontus for this Gilson B. Pontus game. Look at how shit it is. Look at how blurry it is. Look at how badly compressed it is. It's awful. This is the first thing you see of the game. It makes it look like shit. So in that regard, it is actually quite representative. But here's the start screen. Why didn't he just use footage from the game and then save that as a high quality video or, or do it in engine? Or, or, why does this looks so much better than this. What is he doing? Why is this a situation? Why is this a sit- Why is this happen- Why would you do that? I think this is the fourth year that Gilson has done this. The annual squirting of the poorly named, badly developed game. And I, I gotta admit, after all this time, it, this is certainly the fourth game of Gilson's that I recall playing. And I must admit, there is a little bit of a soft spot now for these. It's just, it's just a yearly tradition now. I'm almost sad that I didn't do this in January because that would be part of a nice little January thing we could do, like a festival, like the Gilson Fest. Would we like to do a Gilson Fest in January? Let's not. Gilson likes the sound of his own name. Um, there's actually an accolade trailer that Gilson's little studio put out that's just me and like Max Scoville and some other critics 
just saying Gilson's name over and over again. Uh, with different pronunciations of the surname. Gilson v. Pontus, some have said Pontes, Pontis. I don't know, I've always said Pontus. And the Accolades trailer actually does not clear that up. It's, it's literally just a... Just a, a, a compilation, really, of people saying Gilson v. Pontus, or variations thereof. Uh, because Gilson, as you can tell from the intro to any Gilson game, uh, loves seeing his name in print more than Hideo Kojima, and that's really fucking saying something. It's a bad game. It's better than any previous Gilson v. Pontus game, and yet is still one of the very worst games ever made. Can we even use the word made? Except within the context of, oops, I made a mess. And I'll put it on the fucking PlayStation Store for 9.99. Learn okay. that name because you will soon know it. It's a Gilson B. Pontes game. Sweet. Good old fashioned Gilson B. Pontes. A Gilson B. Pontes game though. Created and developed by Gilson B. Points. Um. Gilson B. Pontes? This is the work of Gilson B. Pontes. Gilson Pontes? Yeah.